do the walkthrough on this one so we can show you what this house is looking as of today and what the befores are and how far along we are on this project. So, all right, so now, right now we're gonna start in the living room to show you guys where we are as of today. We're gonna open up the lights so you can see. Ah. So, here we are. We got the fresh coat of paint. We got our lighting up. Um, our kitchen is almost there. The floor is done. Um, what else? Let's go into the bedroom. So this is our living room space as of right here. Okay. So bedroom number one, as you can see, the lights are almost completed. I actually gotta make the holes a little bit bigger, but the flooring has been flooring is done, the closets are done, electrical is pretty much keep it at like 90, 98% done. But overall we're pretty much done. We didn't do too much in this room. The only thing we really did was we changed the flooring, we painted the doors, put new closets, and we changed the door hinges. So the windows are pretty much staying the same, just gonna clean them up and you know, make it look more presentable. But overall this room is not bad. We're gonna go into the next room over. Same old, same old here. Everything is pretty much done. Lighting, again, just gotta put them in. Closet's completed. This one's this is the door. You gotta change some of the hinges. Uh, what else we got going on here? And um, it's pretty much that in this room. But the only thing we really did was change the floors, change the outlet fixtures. Not outlet fixtures. Change the outlet cover plates and added some lighting. Did a little bit of texture, but not too much. Um, this house already had texture, so we didn't have to go crazy on the texture, but overall, I think it came out pretty good. So we're gonna go into our bathroom. Bathroom is almost there. Bathroom is almost there. We're about, we're about 95% done in the bathroom. We just gotta clean it up. Um, we're actually not gonna do anything to it as far as just cleaning it up, um, touching up the some of the ground talking and changing the fixture, like I said, always the little things can play a big part when it comes to certain properties. Change the fixtures if they don't look the best. If everything else looks pretty good, changing the fixtures can take you a long way. So don't look like that. You gotta clean up this toilet, get a vanity, um, what else? A few touch-ups. And yeah, but overall we don't have to do this bathroom, so that saved us a lot of money. Our AC is in, which is good. It's up and running properly, which is perfect. All right, we're gonna go into, we're gonna bypass the kitchen. So this is where the kitchen is gonna be. This is the kitchen space. You guys will get cabinets um, and appliances, but a lot of times we like to keep those for last and that way they don't get dirty from the workers doing what they do. Um, and also things don't break. So kitchen appliances are things that you want to put last when the property, majority of the workers are out of the property that way nothing break or nothing gets damaged. So last bedroom here. Here's the last bedroom. Um, we gotta change these windows. So we're 93% done this, this room. We gotta fix this broken glass, change these windows. Um, what else? Clean them up a bit to make it a little bit more attractive. A lot of times we do like to put the new impact windows, but since this property had shutters, there was no need to. Just simply fixing these windows is, we will get the job done. We'll still be able to get the value we're looking to get and still able to send that top. So, yes, so the windows will be getting done shortly. Um, most likely in the next two to three, I, mean, I, I would say next two to three days will be getting done. So yes, you'll see the before what this room looked like. As if this wall is not closed, this actually used to be the wall to get into the laundry room. So, no more there, right? All right. Um, and then we have the final bedroom, which is the master room. If you saw the forest, you know this wall was completely open. There was no door here. This was 
actually just part of the living space that the, the previous owner was just using. But we decided since it was such a big space, why not convert it into a room to be able to get what you from. Right. Pretty big for South Florida home. Um, things that needs to get done in here. The windows were debating on if we should paint them or not. Um, even though it's not going to add any value to the house, but it's probably just going to give a better look when buyers come to see the property. It's one less thing they don't have to worry about. Only because the way they are now, it's a little dirty, but once they're cleaned up and freshly painted, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. We've done it before in the past, and it works pretty fairly, but sometimes it's a hit and miss. But like I said, we added enough value to this property already where the windows won't dramatically affect us when it comes to selling. So, here's our last bathroom. You can definitely see the before of this bathroom because this was actually not a bathroom at all and for us to be looking at something that is a bathroom now is actually amazing. So, we got a tower done. We got the towel on the floor completed. We got our lights. That's almost done. Just gotta put this one in. A few touch-ups. Um, finish some of the drywall on the side. Get our vanity, get our toilet, and fish, put our fixtures in, and this one will be completed. But um, overall, this bathroom looks amazing. So it came out really good. Um, and I'm surprised actually that the spacing was enough. Like, this, where I'm standing at right now, is actually where the utility room. So this is where the washer and dryer was, as well as the water heater. So we decided to take that, convert it into a bathroom, put the water heater somewhere else, as well as the washer and dryer outside, um, in a shed, of course, and make it a little more presentable. So that's that. We're going to go into the backyard now. The backyard, we haven't done much in it. We haven't done much in it so far yet. Uh, only because people are still in and out of the house so we don't want to kill the landscaping. We like to do the landscaping very, very last. That way nobody is running it over and killing it. So, a little bit of debris that we have to get rid of here. As you can see, we got to get rid of that. But overall, if you look up here, our roof has started. So we did decide to do the roof on this project. We were debating on if we should do it, but it was just... It got to a point where it was non-negotiable because the roof was completely, completely horrible. So it was just like, hey, it wasn't part of our budget, but we had to add it if we wanted to at least sell it. We'll probably try to make up the difference when it comes to the sell price. So if you plan to sell it for $450, we will probably try to, it took us about $10,000 to have place this roof. So we're probably going to add it on our sell price to $460. So, yes, so the roof, see, I mean, Backyard, as you can see, pretty decent backyard. Uh, we just gotta clean it up and uh, probably do trim up some trees, make it a little bit better. But alrighty, so now we're standing outside. Uh, as you can see, they're getting the painting done. Um, pretty much, I would say this is about 90% done. We're also waiting on the roofer to complete everything so they can finish everything from head to toe. And also, last thing, like I said, we're gonna get our landscaping done. But overall, this project is pretty much pretty much done. So we don't have too much to do, which is good. So stay tuned. Uh, see you guys on the next video. The next video that I do on this house, you're going to see the complete final of everything being done. Um, the numbers, um, depending on when we do the next one, if this one sells in time, we'll do a video of what we spent on it, what we saved. I mean, things that we saved um, and also how much we made on the project. So. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Remember, like, subscribe if you guys want to follow us more. Um, you guys can follow us on Instagram at Our Block Real Estate. And um, yeah, DM us if you got any questions. So see you on the next one. Peace.